Hi, today I'd like to talk to you about the metric system. And I'm talking about comparing it to the standard system we use in the U.S. When I first started learning about the metric system over 40 years ago, I thought it was a very logical way to go. I thought by now we'd be using it, but we're not. We're kind of set in our ways and we're afraid to change what we're doing. And that's too bad. I think a lot of things we build here in the U.S. might sell a little better overseas if people overseas knew that they could work on it easier, didn't have to buy special sets of tools to repair or do maintenance on American goods or items. The problem with the metric system is that people think they have to convert it all the time to a standard dimension. Like two meters is a little over six feet. That maybe a kilometer is a little over half a mile. They need to stop doing that. Just think of the metric system alone. We do that nowadays with car engines. There's a good example. We don't use cubic inches anymore. And someone says they have an engine that's three and a half liters or 5.7 liters or whatever. We don't ask them how many cubic inches that is. We've become accustomed to it. And we know that 5.7 is bigger than five and a half. It's smaller than six liters. We don't worry about converting it. Same thing with skiing. Skis are all numbered like 165, 185, 200. Well, that's all in the metric system. We don't ask how many inches that is. Everybody knows one's longer than the other or shorter. And that's the way we need to do it all. We need to convert to the metric system, use it, become accustomed to it. And I think it'll help business all the way around. Help make things a little easier to export to other countries. That's your Minute with Monty. Thank you.